Now I'm going to duplicate that layer. Okay, so I'm going to work on a copy of the layer. Now I'm going to go back into Camera Raw and we're going to get into the kind of nuts and bolts <laughs> of it now. Um, there's so many, so many, so many tools in here. Uh, you have um, spot removal tool. Um, the, these brushes, the adjustment brush is is, is amazing. I'm going, that's the first thing I'm going to use in a second. You have a gradient filter where you can you, you you can put a gradient across it so you could darken one side of the image if you wanted or or something like that At or the, the top or the level. bottom. Oh my god, that is like and, a, this is to me this is like discovering plutonium. I didn't know this was yeah, there. How interesting. Yeah, I, I'll use quite a few of these tools. The radial filter is really powerful as well where you you basically uh let me just reset that you can draw out a, a, a radius like this and say i wanted to darken just that area ah oh, <laughs> clever right? or i could bring out more detail in it or something right know? that's radio amazing just yeah. to put that on the so face and I, just I, just I, work I, I on could, the face i could for do, example. do that and just bring out that little bit of the dark detail yeah. of the foliage stuff like that you know this is calm this is why we all need to come together on this level because we all know <laughs> many of these little tips and you know we always assume well everyone knows that no we don't you know this, this is very important to share this i really i really appreciate us all, all taking so much time on these details because this is what makes and breaks an image well i learned this through photography uh, i i did a, a photography course can't remember the name's guy a french guy He's, he's got a big YouTube channel and I paid for one of his courses and it just taught me how to use camera raw the way the professionals do. It was, it was invaluable. It was money well spent, you know? So first of all, I'm going to zoom in. Now this image is not actually that noisy and I don't know whether the resolution will actually show on people's monitors. But there's a little bit of noise going on in the hair. A tiny bit. I think we can uh, see it. Hair is a good example. There's a tiny, yeah. I mean, li nothing we would say is wrong, but there's a tiny bit. I can see it. Yeah. And especially when the image is shrunk down to 1,000 um, by 1,300, it, it, it won't show. But if you were to print this image out at this size, it would show. Mm. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to use the adjustment brush tool and we're going to add some selective noise reduction so i'm going to bring up the noise reduction just for now to plus 50 and then i'm just going to oops uh brush over the hair a little bit there just smooth it out a little bit subtlety is the word <laughs> so subtlety is the word because you have to with being a musician, it's like mixing music. Mm. When you mix music, subtlety is also the word. All those little changes that you make all add up into one big dynamic change. Now, if I, if I, I don't know whether you'll see it, but if I bump that noise reduction up to 100%, it's too much, but mm -hmm. you, you yeah, can so see we, that. We it, have got it, this little smeary effect in the, in the yeah, hair now. Yeah, so we'll, we'll take it down. As render now. Yeah, we'll take it down to about plus 40 mm -hmm. or something. Okay, so now I'd like to maybe sharpen up the face a little bit, uh, the details on the face. So I'm going to make a new brush still in the adjustment brush uh, function here and create a new brush. And I'm going to reset the sliders. You can do that just by clicking on here, reset local corrections. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to use sharpness and I'm just going to brush in a little bit of sharpness. This is all subtle. Just oh, around yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the details that, that really stick out. You know? Yeah, look at that. So, I mean, they're, they're, <laughs> I'd say they're 100%. But you also got to be careful in Photoshop because when you shrink your image down, Photoshop will automatically sharpen it. So you have to be very careful with how much sharpening you, you put on or you'll end up with a very, very sharp image. So, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. Let's see if there's anything else needs sharpening. I don't think there is. Uh, yeah, we're good. That's all very sharp. Yeah, we're all Lots, good. Loads of detail. I like the idea of having a little bit of extra focus on the eyes because that's really where, exactly. where we want the viewer to look. So <laughs> Exactly. Now, what I want to do is I want to show you a little trick where you can change up the hair 
slightly. I'm just going to bring this down to 50% zoom. Um, and I'm going to make a new adjustment brush. I'm going to reset so it again. When you do that, when you create a new brush, then whatever you set will work for those brush strokes, right? And then when you make a new brush, you have a new setting that then exactly. works the moment you, you exactly. use Gotcha. And with each each brush as well, you have an eraser. So if you make a mistake or you come back later and you think it's a little bit too much on that side, mm -hmm. you can erase it out. Um, now, what I'm going to do is there's some really nice highlights in this hair texture around the top. It's almost like she, you know, she, she's been to a classy salon and, you know, pagan salon and got them. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn up the highlights there and turn up the whites. Mm. I'm going to shrink my brush down. Uh, and just, I'm just going to go over these streaks here. Ah, no way. Look at that. So it's, it's like the, you know, the ambient light would catch these, you know? This is so cool. Seeing just these touches that you could probably spend forever trying to get right in that studio, it's actually faster to do it this way. If you already know this in the pre-planning stage, you yeah. go, hey, this this little thing, I could have another light or whatever to emphasize that. You go, no, just you know, a little bit of a um, dodge or burn brush in Photoshop will do the same thing. Like here, yeah. accentuate just a few highlights. And it's really not about making massive changes. It's It's about literally subtlety and enhancing what's already there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And if I take that off, you can actually see see there is a Look at huge that. difference. Look at that. Yeah. And but it's not you you haven't added anything in really. You've just you've just accentuated some parts that were already there. And now I feel like the top part of her hair blends in better with the with the bottom part where the like the yeah. lighter streaks here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I, and I mean if she was a pagan warrior or a viking warrior or or, or a barbarian or something her hair would be maybe pretty rough and i think that emphasizes it a bit as well you know i also have just noticed here that some of the hair is a little bit burnt out here so i'm going to make a um, new brush can you go back to old brushes that you've already made yeah you just you just click click on the on, on these oh that's how it does it yeah, so you click on either Those one. Those are the brushes. Those look gotcha, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to do the opposite in this. I'm going to turn down the highlights and turn down the whites. And I'm just going to cover that a little bit just to get rid of some of the white, you know. Uh, shouldn't have burnt out white in the image, you know. There, that's much better.